Now we are off um, to watch Frozen. What's it called? Frozen Ever After? Is that what it's called? I think so. We're going to watch Frozen show. We've got a fast pass for that. That's in 10 minutes. We're just heading over in that direction now.
the tree is all now in it. All nice and pretty. So we are now in Toy Story Land. Obviously that was frozen ever after the special holiday ending. So that was nice, it's been different to see. But now, very excitingly, we have a Slinky Dog Fast Pass, which I only managed to acquire this morning. I had an Alien Swirling Saucers, which I booked ages ago, and I managed to swap it for a slinky dog so that's great that we get it to to ride this holiday before we go home otherwise we would never get to do this holiday so get to do it in the dark it's a bit bit of fun and during the holidays they have some jingle bells on slinky dog that was like predicted like half chance of rain luckily that's kept back because i was worried about it raining so i didn't want to go on it in the rain luckily it's not raining so we are heading there now for our first pass we got to do it like it's near the end of our holiday now when we didn't know we were going to get a fast pass i'm glad we got one so much fun so uh, fantastic starts in 25 minutes we don't normally leave it this late to go see any shows because you know how bad it can be trying to get a seat but this is our last opportunity to see this holiday because we haven't seen this holiday so whatever seat we get we get so we're walking to the gates at 25 minutes to Fantasmic. So this has ended up being our view. We could have gone right down the end. We decided to come up here instead. Can't really see the water. How much zoom can I get in? And that is the closest going to get with the view. Ever, but to be honest, our seats 
were pretty bad as you can tell from a very minimal footage that I got. Um, we knew we would have bad seats to be honest sitting there anyway but it got to a certain point where it's near the end and like loads of people leave early so I've actually seen nothing sat on our seats um, waiting for the end bit we decided to walk out with everybody else and catch a bit as we were walking out so that's what we did. So we're now at Hollywood Studios bus stop waiting for the bus to Epcot which is hopefully going to turn up in the next couple of minutes because if it doesn't we won't be able to catch a free bus back from Epcot so yeah we'll have to see when this bus turns up to see if we can make our bus in time but then the next bus could always be late but we will see what happens so we made a bus the bus didn't exist because they changed the timetable and no one told us but luckily there was a very nice driver who was in like a completely different part well not a completely different part of the bus bay but like across the road across the bus bay and loads of people who were waiting in our area who also like, yeah, what, um, what's going on? didn't have like get informed of their change of bus and um, were asking him so we actually came over to make sure no one else was left stranded and luckily he was literally driving past the hotel anyway so he was like I'll get on and we got on his bus so we didn't make yes there was no bus to get there in time for but we got there in time to catch a bus that wasn't yeah. ours <laughs> So maybe a tip if you are staying in this hotel, um, check the times. Well, the how often? You're not going to check it every day, are you? Well, no, no, I know, but I mean... I don't know when in the year they change the buses. I suppose... If, quick, get in the room. Um, it, you're not to know when they're going to change them. Like well, We've well. stayed here multiple times and the schedules have never changed when we stay here. It doesn't say on the piece of paper the schedules are going to change. Like any, It says when the schedule starts, it doesn't say when the schedule finishes. No. So, there's nothing you can do except for hope it doesn't change when you're here. Because <laughs> you can't go down and ask every day. No, and the hotel's not going to know when the bus company's going to change their schedule. Oh. Well, it looks but like they didn't. Oh. They did have the new schedule there, but they didn't inform the guests. I don't know. No. Hey, it's fine, we're back. <laughs> yeah. um, it's the company's fault if they don't pick you up, really. But then if, if you miss a bus, or they. I was reading through all the small print, and it basically says if they decide to change where the bus picks you up they have the right to do that well how would you know how to get on a bus somewhere else if they haven't told you which is pretty stupid yeah. so there we go it all worked out fine because there was a lovely bus driver who was like yep yeah, i can take you there so we're like oh but there was three other groups of people say yeah. groups i mean like a two a three and us all he was taking who had missed our bus and then he dropped somebody else off another hotel which didn't seem to be going to that hotel he seemed to be walking across the road so i think loads of people in the next so many days are going to be all missing their buses yeah i think like you said Lots. it was a bit of key end like you said because it was all a bit like they changed the schedule today yeah like you said. Mm. so and no one seems to want to take the blame the driver came in to take some um the schedule to give to some people but who's he going to give that to because if they're off if they're going for different resorts oh i know he for the rest of the night Probably, yeah. the rest of the night now as he goes to pick people up because there's like maybe there's two two more i think one or two more scheduled times he's going to keep having the same thing all night long yeah, yeah, of people yeah, yeah. hanging around waiting for buses that haven't picked yeah. them up so at least he can hand them schedules out so they potentially can get to the next bus yeah, or because the next one is in Epcot as well so it's in lane 48 which mm. was the nine something and then well our next we nearest bus would have been up. 15 minutes later for hot for magic kingdom the new schedule yeah but we went to know that but anyway it's fine we've gone on about a bit too much now yeah. <laughs> um so there you go it was all fine we were meant to catch a bus and that's what happened doesn't matter what one it was one that oh funny thing though our bus pulled in parked up and then our actual bus for this hotel pulled in like like a minute after less than that 30 seconds after we're like oh <laughs> but anyway all's good we haven't eaten much today so we've decided to order a pizza we've ordered the medium one the large one was way too much we ordered a medium pizza and we're going to tuck into that soon whenever it's ready and we'll go pick it up aunt has returned with the pizza but this isn't the size of the pizza they run out the boxes that our pizza fits in so and it looks tiny it's only because the box is massive we've got a medium was it 12 inch yes that looks like an adequate size for us to have looking forward to talking to my half of just a cheese 
So I'm gonna sign out for tonight. We're gonna tuck into this pizza, watch some TV, and that will be it for today. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Hi everybody! This is gonna be so much fun! You're here! I'm gonna What a great night!